In Elias, we like to call each piece of music a theme, since it's so much more than just one song. An Elias project file can contain as many themes as we like, but for now we're going to create one theme that can evolve and change whenever we want it to. The first thing we need to do is to make some music, so we know how long our loop is going to be. The music can then be split up into as many tracks as you want, but remember that the more tracks you add, the more audio files will have to run simultaneously, and the heavier the theme will be to run. In this video, we're going to use the demo theme that can be downloaded straight from the studio. Now that we have some music, go into Theme Settings, where you're going to specify the structure of the music. The loop is 32 bars long and has a time signature of 4x4 with a tempo of 156 beats per minute. Next, you can create and name the loop tracks that you need. Do this from the track menu or simply press Ctrl T. Try to group instruments that go well together to get natural transitions when changing levels and changing themes. Now you can start adding the audio files to the track levels where you want them. When you export the audio files, it's important to remember to make them a couple of bars longer and keep the audio tail at the end so the loops will play out smoothly. For this track level, we'll add a variation. Click the track level number to expand it to access the variation levels. This means that whenever this level is played, one of these two variations will be selected, depending on what progression type you assign to it. You can add how many variations you like to any track level, but this will do for now. As you can see, some track levels have different colours. The green ones contain one simple full-length audio file. The blue contain more than one variation. Then we have these yellow track levels, and they're made up of several shorter segments, which is perfect when you want to reuse assets to save space. We'll learn more about segments in a later tutorial, and you can always read more about it in the manual. Lastly, we have the red track levels. They make the loop track go silent when playing that level. These are simply added by right-clicking and choosing silence. Now, when you've filled out levels with music, let's listen to how it sounds. You can use the player to listen to and to test your theme. You could look at the player as the game that sends requests to your themes. We'll revisit it throughout the tutorials as we go. As you can see in here, Level 1 is now playing. Level 1 has audio files added to the loop tracks Choir, Strings and Other, and since there's nothing on brass or percussion, they're not playing for now. If we go to Level 6, however, the brass and percussion joins in, and the choir and strings will change to audio sources that are a little more intense. This way, a level can loop around as long as it needs to, but can change into another level, and in this case, intensity, by increasing the level. We can also reverse and go back again to lower the intensity. Or go to the max level. Now to make this sound even better, you can specify how each one of these transitions should play out more exactly. Some loop tracks can, for example, change faster than others and let phrases and melodies play in their entirety before changing level. This way, it's not going to sound like a simple fade, but more like someone is actually playing that change. But more about this in our later tutorial about transition settings. Thank you for watching.